breakup. So ghostly normally. Oh, yeah. oh my god, we actually included a little bit of our actual chat before the intro. Oh yeah, well, behind so, the scenes. Oh my gosh, what we talk about before the podcast. I accidentally clicked record, and now oh, like there's now no way to, to cut it, it out because it's live. Did you notice that on the Grammys last night? What? Where oh. Dua Lipa and um, Alicia Keys didn't know the microphone was on. They didn't? They didn't say anything bad. She just said, oh, move up. And she said, oh, you got to move up closer to the mic. I was, <laughs> imagine if they would have caught them saying something I all said, shady. I said fucking Dua Lipa move up or something. Saying, who the fuck are you? Get the fuck up. <laughs> it's so funny, though, doing the doing like the the um, red carpet part of the Grammys because they switch from interviewer to interviewer. And I don't get, why is there always a two-second pause where the interviewer is just looking at the camera awkwardly? Oh, yeah. Because they haven't like transitioned to the next interviewer. Oh, my God. That's so, I love that, though. They should, they should have more of those. Oh, just like, someone needs to make a compilation of it. The part just, people be. are just standing there. They don't know it's on yet. Yeah, <laughs> just awkwardly. Well, <laughs> welcome back to Bros of Four Hoes. I'm Lucas. And I'm Jacob. And this is the show that came from your dreams but is a reality it's not reality so don't lie to me wait who sung oh olivia o'brien oh yeah that's a really depressing song yeah she has a depression anthem if yeah you ever want to listen i saw it once it just i didn't know who olivia o'brien was i've heard of that song i hate you i love you this yeah. part of my recommend it's called empty and i was like oh my god i remember it to it two years ago like i don't know if you told me about it or if i found it somehow but the music video is just so insane to me because it was it was her talking about like I'm empty in the inside, but then it was her in this like mansion in LA. Yeah, it almost was like, oh, the song's about like struggling with like feeling sad, which is like, oh my god, that's horrible. But I must feel like the music video was like glamorizing it, being like, oh, we're in like, the oh, best yeah. outfits in a mansion, but like we're so sad and like we're just yeah. so chic and like I don't know. I mean, I like I feel like we can all understand it, but yeah, at the end of the day. Yeah, so um, I don't know why. Why did we just bring up "Empty" by Olivia O'Brien? Um, it just it just transitions to that. Um, <laughs> I, anyway, naturally. um, we aren't going to be testing eating anything in today's episode because apparently a lot of you guys were disgusted by our eating noises. These mics are very sensitive. You can hear every little movement inside my mouth, and a lot of people. I at first when I saw the comments and emails being like. The eating's gross. I was like, oh, grow up. Like, honestly, loosen up a little bit. But we listened back. And just, I'm going to play a replay of last week when we were eating salami and just listen to this. And it's disgusting. The whole thing. Foyal? Yeah. Okay. Should I leave this up here? I'm trying to make it We're about to eat. Oh, smell your fingers. Actually, it doesn't smell bad. Ew. What disgusting. That's equal. I smell. Okay. We're about to start eating. Salami's good. Oh, wait. It smells good. Mmm. Spongy. (laughs) Stop it. Kind of flubbery. It tastes like the um. Like I, I'm, I'm grossed out. Like we never listen back to these podcasts, but like we should have. That is disgusting. I know. And if you were driving and hailing that, it would just be disgusting. And like you might actually get in a car accident. It was literally like, like yeah. you can hear. Like, it sounds like old. It sounds like someone in an old folks' home eating. Like I love old folks people, but imagine them eating on really close to a highly sensitive microphone no like, one wants to hear that and this mashing week, sloshing i know it sounds like we're eating some gross like food that's been like baby food or something and i this, know yeah this reminded me of sometimes in the beginning of the podcast when it's you saying like hey welcome to the podcast i have to mute my mic because when i'm when i'm just listening to the intro just to see if it all sounds good you can hear me in the background doing this Wait, oh, really? I, 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 I think like I just. A, I think I'm like, like a nat- panic at the beginning of every episode. No, like I think I just naturally breathe so loud, and like I don't know if you guys can hear that in some episodes, but I it reminded me of that. That is the worst when someone says you breathe loud. I know, it just, but you just feel like a piece of shit. It, it's like, am I a pig? Am I? Is there something wrong with my body? You like, know I remember what I, mean? I used to. This one girl in high school, we would go to movies together, and I remember I was like, I can't go to movies with her anymore because she would say, "Oh my gosh, it sounds like you're falling asleep the way you breathe. Like it's so heavy." And I was like, "That is me." Now, like when I go to the movies, I feel like I can't. Yeah. When I went to the movies with her, I felt like I couldn't breathe because I'm like, if I breathe, apparently it's going to be too loud. And, and then, then you're an obnoxious, po- loud breather, disgusting person. I know. This is I like I am a gross person. Like when I like I've been told it many times that when I eat food, it just sounds gross. So, oh my God. so then it makes sense. Just in a real, people have told you that. Well, like, just like, 
when we're eating dinner. Like, this doesn't happen oh, as wait, much anymore. You used to hum. Oh, yeah. And then I used to eat cereal and be like, mmm, mmm, <laughs> and then I and then I remember it was like a joke that I didn't ever use my fork or spoon. Oh, you used to eat with your hands. Yeah, I just do you easy. still do that? No, I actually like cut the chicken, but like you would like instead of using a fork just to like not use your fingers, you would push your you'd use your fingers to push stuff on the fork. I mean, it makes sense. Yeah, I guess with it, gravy you know? and stuff. It's more mom and dad's fault for not raising you right. Yeah. Blame it them. on them. But somebody <laughs> actually emailed us and said, Hi, guys. Super big fan since the Fred days. Had the merch. Watched the movies. You know the deal. I listen. I love the pod. I listen every Tuesday on my way to and from work. But the eating segments make me so disgusted. I literally had to turn it off both the times you did this. The noises are so gross. I don't know what you guys were expecting from it. But please stop or at least eat away from the mic. I'm begging you, please. I'm so sorry to this girl. So, yeah, just like Lucas said, when, like, people said this, I was like, okay, we don't, like, we get it. We're gross. But I actually, like, after listening and evaluating, I just feel bad for the viewers and listeners. I know. Mom's calling me. Oh, just just answer it. I want to hear what she's going to say. Hello? Hey, did you see how uh, Selena said she was emotionally abused her whole relationship with Bieber? <laughs> We're, we're recording the podcast right now. Oh, well, did you see that? Yeah, I actually did. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. What are your that. thoughts? Kobe's the big news. I'm sure, well, what I'm sure is she thought it was going to be high fucking like the top thing on people.com but it's way down there because Kobe's overshadowing her so I'm sure she's a little upset it came out now oh my gosh well thanks for popping into the pod and giving your pop culture update oh you're so welcome <laughs> alright talk to you later say <laughs> okay, bye bye so, would you first mention the Selena uh, just excuse Go that on. mildly problematic thing that our mom just said yeah because when she mentioned abuse I was like okay like we might have to cut this out, but it she was just told, telling her that you the news story. She wanted to tell me that Selena Gomez was emotionally abused by Justin Bieber and that Selena Gomez is probably mad because it was overshadowed. Because it's at the bottom of the page. Anyway, I mean, she might um, be speaking the truth. I don't know. But yeah, I didn't know that she was emotionally abused. I didn't know that. I just assumed because of the song. What is that? What does that entail? Like, I'm. I don't. What? How, how far does that have to be to consider emotional okay, abuse? Okay, yeah, I actually don't want to film this anymore. I'm disgusted. I just did the grossest thing. And hey, I just, what'd you do? <laughs> I, I don't even know if I want to say it on the podcast. I'm just so disgusted. Did you start? <laughs> no. I just was <laughs> peeling up my calluses and I tore a piece of skin off. And I was like moving it towards my mouth, about to eat it. And I'm so fucking disgusted. I don't even know if I want to put this in the podcast. Just leave it and people do it. And Everyone wants to eat their own skin. When I it's noticed normal. I was doing it, I was like, I'm actually disgusted. That's not like, really that I don't like, want to be somebody, seen doing this. Somebody eating a callus off their hand is less gross than me <laughs> than someone eating a booger. I was like, that's fine. I'm. So, I, it's just like I a weird. It's it. a weird phenomenon where everyone wants to eat their own skin. <sighs> and it's just like no one wants to talk about it, but it's there and it's real. Okay. You know what I mean? Because like, you know, like <laughs> you have those little strings of um skin next to your fingernail. <laughs> yeah. You have little your fingernails have those little strings of skin. Everyone bites them off, <gasps> and every no one talks about it. Like we all eat our own skin. It's just a natural thing. Okay, I will keep it in. We can yeah. keep it. in. <laughs> Don't be ashamed. <laughs> but when I was doing it, I was actually like, I was, I was. It was reminding me of like when we did the eating thing and people were gross. I was like, okay, I actually can't put this in. Yeah, and luckily you just changed the whole entire um subject. So we don't have to talk anymore about mom's problematic opinions. Oh yeah, yeah. So yeah, we it's like I would want to talk about that, but to me, it kind of just a little too dark for this yeah. podcast. For some reason, um, our mom has said something against Selena Gomez for a while. So yeah, so <laughs> I, I mean, I could understand, but yeah, because I remember, you know, like um, <laughs> before "Love Me to Lose You" was released. Does and... anyone else's parents have this strong of opinion on Selena Gomez? I know. <laughs> <laughs> what were you gonna say? <laughs> because when you okay, so you know that period is period of. Like that two year period of when she was just doing remixes and like with DJs and stuff. Just like yeah. but before this album was released. Um, she would always tell me that Selena I probably already said this, that Selena Gomez isn't famous anymore. And even though she said this, I just knew like I'm sorry, but she's like I think like the second most followed on Instagram. Yeah, so, like, she has she's like a hundred million followers. But for some reason mom believed that she wasn't famous. Okay, for some reason she's always said something against her. I think because for some reason my mom is for some reason, it really invested in Demi and Selena. She always says, Demi's the better singer. Why is Selena getting attention? So she's just fighting for talent. Yeah, which, like, honestly, if it's, j it's, it's probably just about the talent. So she, it matters. 
Like the talent matters. But Selena still makes bops. I know, but yeah. Yeah, so honest, I'm. you don't really need to be a good singer anymore. I know, that's why I'm... If you release I, the bops, then yeah, I'll stream. I think a couple of years ago, I realized that like, even if you're not good at singing and it's just literally like there's a few people that do this i don't know who though that kind of just tack in their songs oh i love that but i deb? honestly do you like remember it deb yes deb was the first person who just was like you know what i'm not i can't really hit any notes or maybe she can and just didn't show i follow her on instagram but she was like i'm just gonna talk through my songs like a g6 like a not even rapping yeah. just simply talking and i'm gonna have some top 10 hits i know that song and then also she was just like she was like owning herself because she had this one song called Me. And it says oh, like, yeah. <laughs> it goes like, I used to live in the little of town. Now I sell out shows, dancing all around, flying I, all I around. Her album. <laughs> you bought it? Uh, no. What I do remember, you mean? I remember being a fan of Dev was actually really hard because she released like a G6, Bop, Backseat. What's that song? Do oh, you want to get with it, me? In, in the, the backseat. Back it's about having back sex in the backseat. And it was featuring the new boys, which are rappers. And they said, do you want a new boy in you? Remember that lyric? Oh, yeah. I love but, that um, song. So I was like, oh, my God. After like a G6 and new boys Based backseat. Based down low, though? Based down low. I was like, yeah. when's the album coming out? She got pregnant, which, I mean, go her for having a kid. But then she delayed <laughs> the album for like a year. Ended up coming out in the UK like six months before US. So like, Did you, I had to yeah, download it leaked. illegally. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. So really just didn't work like she just the whole pregnancy kind of ruined the whole album but like dove in the beginning like those three songs and stuff like there needs to be another one of those people i just love those people that are like they have their own career but most of the time they're just putting out like dance club songs i know i love it just, just like, simply talking and it's like if anyone comes to just be like why don't you do it then if it's that easy why don't you become a talking pop star i know if it, just like yeah if you, yeah if, if it was that easy everyone would be doing it guys yeah but nobody else did bass down low or like a g6 i know and we can be saying oh it's the, probably like it's so easy to make club hits well if it was and talking was easy then everyone would be making she bass made down a low. pro masturbation song she did in the dark Oh, yeah. Dancing in the dark, 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 <laughs> dark. Da, 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 da. Near, near. I miss the days when every single song, they would sing an, they would sing a chorus, <laughs> yeah. and then it would just go to a beat drop. I don't just do these weird noises. I know. It's such a simpler time. And then, um, I don't know if it was you that had the influence, but I just remember, like, everyone that was younger than you, so um, your four younger siblings, me and being included, we were all, like, because we used to always swing on the swing swing set and jump on the trampoline listening to music for like for like an hour or something like yeah, just randomly sounds so lame i know and like we all listen to that album like we because i think i literally know every single song like light speed? yeah light speed dancing shoes oh yeah i got my dancing shoes on tonight oh my gosh she had so many hits and then getaway what did that song go like again? I think we are just like, we're going to run out of this town i forgot how it went but i remember that being a song oh yeah and then she had an mtv oh, special booty pop DJ, put that record on. This is my shit. Oh, this is, my shit. is that whole? <laughs> is that fun to see that booty bounce? I just want to see this booty bounce. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, Dev needs to make a new album ASAP. I Yeah, I think it had, it's been a few. Because I remember, like, um, we remember when we, we, before this podcast, we had a ch channel dedicated to like doing pop culture videos oh yeah and it got my actual channel deleted temporarily oh yeah what was the drama with that so actually we already have we've already the reason why we know a lot of like i know about her album being delayed is because me and jacob like he said did have we dabbled in a, having a pop culture channel on youtube that wasn't our faces and it was just our voices like you know those channels like nikki swift or like those random like, channels honest, are like i'm him and then like but you know what? those ones that just, like, talk about something random? Oh, yeah, just, like, some random title, and they just... And, like, people care, but it's not, like... Yeah, like, not what cool. happened to the Home Alone cast? What... Yeah. Zoe one oh The guy from Zoe 101, what's he up to now? Like, videos like that. We wanted to do videos like that, and we're like, maybe this could, like, literally be bigger than our main channels, and, like, we just be these voices behind it. Yeah, because we, like... Because those videos are always in the recommended, and I love watching them, so <laughs> I was like, why don't we just try it? So we did actually... How many videos did we do? Probably like ten or so. You did one on just, Jordan Pru Pruitt's career. Oh yeah, from the girl Disney. who sang "Outside Looking In" for the Jump In soundtrack. And this, and I think we got some of our inspiration not only from these pop culture videos, but we also got some of our inspiration from like those videos titled like 
ton, top ton scariest roller coasters in the whole entire world. Oh my God. That's a literally happened one night. Yeah, that's what we, happened. We stayed up late watching top 10 worst water slides in the world. Then we watched, <laughs> and then that led us to top 10 scariest roller coasters, which led us to top 10 worst roller coaster disasters. Yeah. And then we wanted to be like, oh my God, what are the water slide deaths? So we typed in people who have died on water slides. And then it hit us. We were like, Wait, why don't we just do a list channel? I know, we're so interested in it. Yeah, but we should have went down the water slide path. I don't do well, because it's family friendly too. Yeah, like how many people died at SeaWorld, do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. But we ended up going down the um, pop culture path, and I don't know who... Oh, I actually do know, because um, my man my YouTube management told me what ended up happening. So one day, one day I woke up, and I found out my channel was deleted. You, but you're, so, my so actual this, channel, youtube.com slash Lucas, was deleted. Because you're, this channel that we had doing the pop culture videos was connected to your yeah, actual channel. Yeah, somehow it was connected to my main channel, the yeah. same email or something. So that, our new pop culture channel got flagged, which made my actual, I couldn't go into my main channel for like a week. I know that sucks because you were going to upload a video or something and yeah, then you were YouTube like, YouTube is so hard to get in contact with. I remember I tweeted them being like, can you please respond to me? And then like, they just didn't. So how or they, they would actually, they actually, remember they actually tweeted back saying, we got back to you and like, they actually didn't though. <laughs> oh, so what ended up ha happening? With Finally, my, um, um, network or whatever, like YouTube network, yeah. found out that it was because we did a we did a really in a YouTube saw this video and deleted the whole channel because they were like this is like a porn channel because we did a video called um the first pair of boobs you ever saw. Oh yeah, that video was so funny. Like the, yeah. when we thought of the idea, I was like, oh my gosh, this is so funny. Basically, it was going to be a fun list video about how all of us probably have seen the first same boob pair of. We've all probably seen our first pair of boobs in the same yeah, way. Yeah, from like super bad. Or like or the like, Titanic. Yeah, the, 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 that scene from the Titanic. Yeah, when she when um, Leonardo DiCaprio's drawing Rose, that was probably we, the first pair of boobs one of you guys saw. Also the American Pie scene. Yeah, because um, when I first found out that like like the the channel got deleted, what I was thinking it was from was was even though all the other channels do it was from using copyrighted content. Because like, we kind of also think that Jordan Pruitt. Um, got it deleted. Oh my yeah! I, like we low key had a theory that because we weren't mean in it, but we were basically saying like this is why isn't she famous anymore? And no, like, but we would also we would add in our own facts. Oh, and then she didn't. Th yeah, that was the theory that she thought she thought we were spreading like yeah. misinformation. This is the thing. Like we would we would put we would do like a video like why is Pete Davidson famous? Because like that was when he was dating Ariana Grande. Yeah. So we, we would add in, like, actual info. But then we just to be funny, like, every now and then we'd add in a fake fact. But we wouldn't say it was a fake fact. Yeah, so, like, we would be talking about Pete Davidson. And then, like, one of us would say, like, by the way, his mom was the nurse on Mean Girls, which isn't yeah. real. Or something like that. Just something like that. And I guess maybe it isn't smart to start a channel that spreads false information. Yeah, but then, yeah, but then that pat, that channel. We tried to start our own fake news organization. I know we are what Trump talks about, but yeah, <laughs> we. So that I think I mentioned that because of Dove. So that's how we know. That's how I know a little bit about like home music. So yeah, then that pot, so then that channel kind of led to the podcast. I think. I wonder if anyone watched that that um channel. I know because I think they got like two thousand views a video. Like since we only uploaded ten, yeah. but it was called Lucas Pucus. Yeah, that's still a cool name. Lucas Pucas. Lucas Pucas. Somebody actually sent us in a very intense Tinder story, and they just wanted to get it off their chest, so I'm going to read it. Okay, let's see. So I downloaded Tinder for a week, and I didn't have any intentions of meeting anyone, but I did give a few people my Snapchat. So this one boy would message me and stuff, and I had told him before that I didn't like the way he acted because he would be, like, just aggressive. Like he's the make me kind of guy, or he would call me a pussy if he told me to make him do something bad. Oh, if he would, he would say something and she'd be like offended. He'd be like, you're a pussy. You can't handle my personality. Okay. So just today he asked me to come cuddle with him. And I was like, oh, I have to get ready for the week and study and shit. And he goes, hesitation gets you killed. And I was like, what? And he goes, oh, I just send random stuff to people I don't care about. So okay, I, first of all, I'm just like wailed out. Like it sounds like it sounds like some like some like story that you'd hear from like one of those TLC networks, and then it ends up being like a some creepy guy showing up out of door or something. And she said, "So I asked, why do you say shit like that?" And he goes and says, "I just like to be low key, super rude. Like <laughs> I'm not even rude, but I just think it's fun sometimes. I was trying to be nice about it because like if he's trying to get me to be into him." 
that's not the way he should do it. And he goes, okay, then block me. Problem solved. And I just replied with, okay. And he goes, it's 2020. Grow up. Excuse me? I don't think I was being immature at all. And I was just being honest and he freaks out. Plus, I don't get how the, the fact that it's 2020 means that we have to all be mature <laughs> because everyone's different ages. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I love that how she mentioned that because I didn't think about that. I know because like, if someone told me it's 2020, grow up, I'd be like, oh, yeah, I should grow up. But then it's like, wait, what does 2020 have to <laughs> yeah. do with anything? But then you actually Especially think with about this it. Situation. Yeah, because this also kind of reminds me of like people saying it's 2020. You like, I don't know, with other things, which like, I don't know. It's just funny to, when you put it like that. I love I that. No. Oh my god. Well, hopefully you actually blocked this person because he seems like an asshole. I know. Like, like I just feel like he's being like a like a douche or a dick yeah. just to be cool or something. Or like just because he's probably so insecure, so he's like rejecting you before like anything even happens. Yeah, and then like and obviously- I'm just saying, oh yeah, I'm just rude. Like it's not a big deal. You can't take it. You're so boring. It's like, um, no, I just I just don't want to be yeah. treated like shit. And then and then obviously he's like lying, saying, oh, I just messaged you as a joke or something. Because obviously, I know. obviously he wanted to message you. This you person know? just seems like an asshole. I know, just a straight so just- up trying to manipulate you asshole so just be thankful that you didn't get in deeper i know because it, because yeah so yeah but i um i just thought the funniest part was um get mature because it's 2020 because it reminded <laughs> me that like people are being born still like there's not there's still babies you know what i mean like they don't need to be mature <laughs> that is so funny <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for sending us that. Um, no, someone it. did send last week. We asked you guys to send in your Karen moments, which is like when you're when you're being obnoxious. Like, I don't even really yeah, get when it, you're but. like being like over the top. So like you're at a restaurant and you say like the, like call for the manager, the typical one, you know. Yeah. yeah. But um, nobody really sent us any except for like one person. But um, it's because no one really. Un- I don't even thing is I ask people to send in Karen stories, but I don't even understand it. Yeah, I like <laughs> I get Karen, but yeah, when I saw that we got. No, like like not many emails are like wait everyone's so lazy but then but then i was like i don't even have a karen story and i wouldn't if i was listening to a podcast i wouldn't send in anything because i'm too lazy but there was a few i saw oh yeah this person said um oh it was this they wrote it's like a really long email but basically they worked for a business and um the business like sucked and the boss was an asshole yeah and they fired this girl and all of her and impl- also all of her co-workers so they made fake accounts and wrote bad reviews on the business's page and like they strategically did it so like it was a week apart and like they would also the fake accounts would also leave reviews for other businesses so like it seemed completely real oh yes it is but the fake. business tracked their ip addresses down and like made them stop which i don't know you could do that like Google reviews can track down your IP address. And then, so a business, if they think it's fake, they can do that? I don't know. I didn't know that. I didn't know that either. That's so funny. Like, it's not funny, but I can't believe they, like, went that far. (laughs) (laughs) To do that. I guess the business was that annoying when they worked for them that they had to go that hard. You know what I mean? Yeah. It would be, we probably already, I think we talked about this last episode, but it would be scary having a business, like, in today's age, because what if you're accidentally accidentally I would to someone. So what I mean is like when you're getting, you own a pet, like a nail salon and you accidentally say your, your nails aren't what they used to look like. And they're like a regular customer <laughs> on accident. You say that. And then like they write about you and say they're fucking a bullies. Oh yeah. <laughs> that would be so awkward. Yeah. Getting zero star reviews. I know. And then like no one wants to go if they see it, I'm assuming. Yeah. But I guess it's like being a YouTuber and getting hate comments. Oh, that's true. If you put it like that. So you've already dealt with it. <laughs> I've been through it all. Um, somebody also emailed us saying, they said, I guess in one episode we asked, are people in middle school out and proud now? I don't remember. I kind of remember saying that, but we said. Yeah, because I feel like we've talked about that a few times. We actually. said like, has stuff has time changed so much that like in your middle school, like everyone's just gay. And I, they said, honestly, this person said that um, they just got done with middle school. But when they were in middle school, there was a lot of gay people. And they have a theory that a lot of them were lying for attention. <laughs> 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 I didn't see this email. And that's said, but... so funny that like being gay, like people pretend to be it now just for clout. That's crazy. And then they said people are people do it for attention. Oh my gosh! Like that's so <laughs> funny. This reminds me of like I mean, almost seeing so like on TikTok there was like these like it was there was like these like vi- like these viral TikToks that had like so many likes that were like of like these like 
these like two guys that were like so young, like twelve years old or something, and yeah. then it showed them in like like being gay, and then I guess there was a lot of them, and I guess like someone exposed them or like was was claiming that it was all fake and they did it for likes. Really? Because they knew that gay relationships would get more likes, but I don't know if it's true or not. Oh my god, that's what it reminded me of. That is so funny. That's like funny that they have that theory though. I wonder if it's true. They actually said and they also said that someone in the sixth grade um claimed that she sells crack and she smokes weed and jewels in the Oh, bathroom. I actually did see that. Yeah, so um w- when I saw that I laughed because I was like um because I'm assuming they don't sell crack because one of those things Isn't is crack like really hardcore? Like middle hope I hope middle schoolers aren't just casually doing crack. I know like I know those people are doing crack, which is sad, but I just hope, like, at least not in middle school, you know? Yeah. I feel like middle school um, is one of those periods in life where everyone is making up the boldest lies. Oh, Cause, like, yeah. I'm just assuming those are lies, but in your middle school, were people making up, like, bold lies. Of, um, I don't, I forgot what they were, but I just remember so I many people I think in my lied. middle school, like, it was the time when, um... Emo was kind of a thing, so a lot of people would, like, pretend to be, like, really sad. Oh, and, uh, yeah. Yeah. But, um, I guess now let's turn to being gay. Oh, yeah. Oh, like, I, yeah, just people, yeah. Yeah, it was, like, really, it was, like, always the thing to be, like, yeah, like, I'm so emotional. <laughs> like, it just, like, at that age, for some reason, at that age, it feels cool to, like, be, like, oh, I'm so deep, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, kind of like the whole Tumblr thing. Yeah. Putting pictures of, like, grass grass but then tone it black and white so it looks like a person and say have you ever thought that life is just 80 years of depression or something oh yeah like that. just classic memes like that yeah um japan apparently a japanese billionaire is giving a- away one million dollars to um his online followers as an experiment um to who one of the online followers they're giving a thousand people nine thousand dollars which Rounds up to like nine hundred thousand dollars, but he's doing it to as an experiment to see if um they they'll be happier after they get money. Oh, that's so so. If you get the money, you're part of the experiment. Yeah, which led that's me cool. to the question: Do you think people should be allowed to have so much money that they're randomly giving away a million dollars, or should do you think that do you think the world should be like just get as much money as you want and like it just keeps growing, or should it be like you get to a billion then you have to stop? I mean, like, I want to talk about this, but is it, like, controversial? Like, is it, like, are people, like, really I into it? No, it doesn't matter, I don't right? think it matters. No, I don't yeah, think I didn't know, like, if it was, like, like a bullshit or something. If people were, like, oh, my gosh, I'm inside <laughs> or something. I don't think this is yeah, that, that level, I feel like, um, I feel like, like, um, since, like, since I was born in the U.S. and I think it's called, like, capitalism and, like, and, like, it's all about, like, just make as much money as you can and, like, it's yours yeah. after you pay taxes. I feel like, um... Um, I guess, like, you should have as much money as you want, but then, like, I guess maybe if you, like, get a billion dollars, you pay more tax. Like, if, even even if you get, like, a hundred million or, like, big, big, huge amounts like that, you pay, like, more taxes for, than someone that makes, like, a hundred thousand or fifty thousand or something. That's horrible. <laughs> You're going to get canceled. Right? Or, like, is that okay, what you think? No, that's actually basically <laughs> it. I actually don't know what I would pick. If I had the opportunity to choose... You can't be a billionaire or you could. I don't know what I would pick because part of me is like, nobody needs that much money. Yeah. That's horrible. But then p- part of me is also like, oh, the government shouldn't control how much money you can have. Yeah, because I... Because then like, it's kind of weird They like, no one can have like so much power because they don't want them to. Yeah, because I switch my mind like so often because like I think I've said before, like I don't even think anyone should be a billionaire. But in this moment, I'm thinking like, I don't know, I guess because when but I... But then again, like I don't think the government should decide no one should be able yeah, to be a billionaire. Yeah, because then it feels like they're like putting something on you but then yeah. it reminds me of like when i hear like people are worth like 30 billion dollars it's like wait why aren't you giving any even oh, though they, yeah, they, i feel like i, would I feel... bet they are giving some away but it just feels like they're not giving away enough in my mind but maybe i'm just being annoying or something that would be the i guess at least this person's giving away his followers but that's so funny like a yeah, that's nice of him throwing of throwing nine thousand dollars being like let's see if it makes you happy and experiment i know it's crazy but this reminds me of when i thought when you first read it is that I've always wanted this to happen. Why don't, since these people have so much money, even if you have like, like, um, a hundred million or more, like that's so much money. Why don't you create a show? You won't make the money back, unfortunately. <laughs> but I always do these. Would you, would you do it for this amount of money? So it doesn't need to be like, Oh my God, really... that would be so good. Yeah. So it, obviously when I say, would you do it for this amount of money? I say like kind of messed up stuff. Like, would you, well, you could actually do that. Like, would you eat someone's shit for, Five hundred thousand dollars, and like 
I think it, you you'd obviously sign something like if you die, it's not an hour cut the class. That would actually anything. be such a good series. So like, that, and you literally get people and you say, how much would you do it for? And, yeah. they have to, and you negotiate, and it's like, and the and the billionaire also is negotiating. Like, no, I'm not going to do that much. This is your last offer, and see like what people are willing to do for like just gross things like that. Yeah. So like, yeah, and I think it would be. Because I feel like they need someone so rich, though. Because if someone said, would you eat shit? And they, um, like, so this is obviously a lot of money. But if they had, like, like $5,000, there's people that would say yes. But, like, if you upload the amount, I feel like so many more people would say yes. Oh, and yeah. it would be Whenever you ask insane. these questions, though, it's always so annoying. Because I'm like, oh, obviously, I'm going to try to get a bunch of money. But, like, what's what's their what's their heart out? You know what I mean? Like, what yeah. do they get? Because whenever you say, like, oh, how would you... How much money would it take for you to like just um how much money would it take for you to to like to have an alien abduct you and you don't know what's going to happen and or I'm something like, like oh, that. obviously I would try to get it to be a million dollars but like if this person is only going to give me like 50k or like 10,000 like I might even just do it for 10,000 but obviously I'm going to aim for a million Yeah so I'm actually so when I I always ask these questions and, and I remember like yeah a while ago like cuz for some reason I just never thought about that I never thought about like, oh, obviously, I'm going to try to get the high amount. I just never thought about that. But yeah, like, but then it made me think, like, like, I have this, like, like, so if if someone's going to say, I, how much would you eat shit for? If this show's going to happen, they, they, they have to have a max. Like, they can't, like, they'd have to say, okay, I'm, but then that would ruin it, you know? Saying, like, I'd yeah. do it for a million because then they just do it for the million and quit and not try to get more. Well, they'd have to, like, the person would be, like, negotiating. Yeah, but yeah, so some rich person, if you're fine with obviously wasting a bunch of money, like you won't make it back. It's not an investment, really. Um, you should do it. Kylie Jenner should it. do it. I, but then it's kind of funny because like there'd be so many memes saying like Kylie Jenner was making people eat shit, even though she's not <laughs> making them eat shit. Like maybe it doesn't have to eat shit. It can just be like, oh, yeah, what other examples no, would it be? Oh, I actually have a good one that isn't gross. Um. For for um, what amount of money would you stay? Would you stay in this haunted ass house that's been there for five hundred years in the basement with with X Files playing, like something like that? Yeah, that like that's something that I or think even would just be a like good one. how much money would you have to get paid to go out in public and slap someone across the face? Oh yeah, something like that. So the, and like they could never know it was for the show. Like oh, you just yeah. will be known as a bad person. That's, or like how much money do you have to get paid to like say the most horrible thing online and you won't, aren't able to tell anyone it's it was for the show for like a decade. Yeah. Oh, so like, for ten years of your life, you're living as like someone who everyone thinks you're disgusting, horrible because like you said the worst things online imaginable. I just like, hope how much doing money would that that'd be such a long episode though because you have to wait ten years to update. Yeah, you know? it'd be a big ass documentary or something. Yeah, but stuff like that yeah oh like like um i think i've asked ones like this before like something like how much would you have to get paid to like go up to your mom and like tell her something really bad and then like you can't there's like lucas said you can't ever tell her it's fake though so then like it adds an extra layer of suspect all the billionaires listening get on it wait how did oh it got mentioned because that guy's handing out money oh yeah yeah, so I guess my initial, my unthought is um, just to make money, I guess. And then, I guess... But um, try to do it in ways where it's not, like, harming a bunch of people. Oh, yeah, like, probably don't steal. No, don't steal, actually. And, um, or, like, maybe you could, instead of being, like, a 30, million, a 30 billion person, you could just be 1 billion and, like, pay your workers really well. Yeah, I always, um... I, I guess I don't know if I want to, I, should we, should it, can I, like, I'm, it's so weird how, like, actually, that's, like, a really dark subject, so I actually don't want to talk about it. Wait, I was just going to say, <laughs> you can cut it out, I guess, but how, like, Apple's so messed up, but we all use it. Oh, yeah. That's like something, that like, documentary like about talk about it because That documentary about Apple. Apple where, um, like, they treat the workers, the workers, like, are, it's, like, their working conditions are just horrible. Yeah, it's so, it's so weird because, like, they're worth so much, but, like... I know, that's what's sad is, like, they obviously could pay to have better working conditions. You know what I mean? But they yeah. just, they want to do it the cheapest way possible. So they can become, like, rich AF. Which is so, I don't know, it's, yeah, the, 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 yeah, so it's, it's so weird when you think about it. As Crazy. I'm holding an iPad. I know, as, like, I have an iPhone, iPhone, iPod, AirPods, all that shit. Well, thank you guys for listening. <laughs> I'm going to end this with um, Long John Silvers. If you want to try it, you can get fast food fish. Oh, my God. You've done a video about this, right? 
Yeah, sorry if I made a loud noise. Um, yeah, I have tried line drone servers. There's a gross one, and then there's a clean one. I we should try the clean one sometime. I used to love Long John Silvers videos. growing up. The Hush Puffies? Yeah, I mm. loved it. Because, like, it was popcorn shrimp. But, like, for some reason, now as an adult, it does sound weird eating fast food seafood. But I'm sure if it was good, I'm sure it's good. Yeah, so I'll admit it, too. Like, um, yeah, when we were kids, we always ate. But then something happened over the years where I just thought, like, fish, fast food is weird. Which, like, oh, obviously, yeah. it's understandable why it's weird. Like, because usually popcorn, fish is, like, I, the expensive The popcorn shrimp is, like, boppable. I forgot what that was. By the way, do any of you guys have an A&W in your town? Oh, yeah. I haven't seen one of those in forever. Yeah, because our old town had an A&W, but I want to know if it's still happening. And it's attached to a TCBY, which is a frozen yogurt place. It was? And it's also attached to a gas station. <laughs> were, you, were you ever a part of student council? Because one time in, yeah, my, it was. in my elementary student council, I remember one of the things was, like, it was something, like, Okay, we're gonna pick up something for the school, something like that. Yeah. And then when we picked up something from the school, the principal drove us in his truck. It sounds like weird or something, but it wasn't. Um, he drove like three of the three people from student council in his truck, and we got ice cream from some ice cream cone from A and W. And I remember thinking it was so cool because like during school. So I was you you out gave a school. speech to get into student council. Because my I remember I my class. How I got in my in. class, you had to do speeches to get in, and then everyone would vote. I think. It was different. I forgot how I got in, but I was in for like a year. You but probably now, did a speech, I'm guessing. Yeah, I'm guessing I did. You remember I did, I got in, I didn't get in one year, but I got in another. Remember everyone would just lie and go up there and say, we're going to make recesses longer. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's the same shit. And I'd say, we're actually going to make the school lunch better. And like, we just don't think that they should give us so much homework. It's like, you have no power. Yeah, like it's student the same. I feel like we didn't do anything. Isn't it student council at the end of the day when you think about it? Just, like, something to have the kids have fun. Like, yeah, it's just I think we did do, like, we got to pick out, like, the school t-shirts and stuff. Oh, yeah, and, like, pick the candy that we're going to sell on Friday. You think that was, like, the main thing? Or we, like, organize bake sales, like, things like that. I, thought it was I don't always... even know what we were raising money for. We were raising money for something, though. I don't know. But when you when you have kids, Emma, are you going to be part of the PTO? I'd be too... I don't know if I'm too... If I do have kids, I feel like I, I feel like it'd be drama for some reason. That could be kind of fun, just like going in there and just like oh, yeah, yelling. Like, <laughs> like, I don't get, what even is the PTO? It, the ma- parent teachers organization, I'm, but like, what do they do? I'm guessing like at that school, I think it was like they, yeah, like, like, because in elementary school, they have like Halloween parties. So I think you organize that, I'm pretty sure. Oh, so I like, guess it could be fun. Yeah, and then, I guess it would be kind of fun, just like, and then like making fun of all the kids, saying, like, wait, have you seen that one girl's kid? You oh, know? you're just saying, oh, your kid's not doing too well in school, but it's fine. Oh, yeah. And just, yeah. Why isn't, what, dance moms is a thing, but why isn't PTO moms I'm a saying, thing? why doesn't your kids join the sports team? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> your kids ain't doing enough. <laughs> PTA or PTO, whatever you want to call it. Well, we all hope you have a splendid week. It got so dark during this I say episode. we all hope you have a splendid week. It's just me and you. Oh, yeah. We, but we both do, yeah. We all hope you have a splendid week and, um... Smell the roses and violets. Bye.